Hmm. Tea. The most un-British British thing. When you think of Britain, you think of tea. Yet, you can't even get tea in Britain. Tea leaves. It's not grown here. So what's that about? Who knows? Anyway, there's like a million different ways to make tea. But people... <sighs> Some people like it stronger, some people like it weaker, some people like milk, some people don't. Some people like sugar, some people like don't. But there's only one right way to make tea. And this is that way. First things first, get a nice mug. I like this one. It's wide, it's easy to drink out of, and it's very easy to hold. Next is the tea bag. <clears throat> you need a really strong tea bag, one that brews really well, but it's not too bitter when you brew it. Sometimes when you brew a tea bag, it's like really bitter. These ones aren't, these are Punjana tea bags, in my opinion, the best tea bags out there. And I know everyone's entitled to their opinion, but if you disagree with me, well, you're simply just wrong. Sorry. Then take and throw that bitch in there. Not too hard though, because you might hurt its feelings and a sad tea bag isn't a well brewed tea bag. Next comes the sugar. Add your sugar at this stage so that it brews well with the tea when you add the water. Probably the most delicate part about making tea is the milk. And there's two things to consider. Number one, what type of milk do you use? I make no apology for saying that you should be using whole milk. Not green milk, not semi-skimmed, not even skimmed. If you think that semi-skimmed milk is superior to whole milk, I, I, I want to be very plain here and I make no apologies for this. Go and get your head checked. It's disgusting. Or as I like to call it, it's white piss. It's not milk. The second thing to consider is when do you add the milk? Now, some psychopaths out there might add the milk just before you add the hot water. No. Are you mental? No. I, in my educated opinion, believe that the best time to add the milk is when the tea bag is brewing. Now, bear with me. This is so that you can get a good judgment of what color your tea is going to be. And say, for example, you add the milk in and the tea isn't being brewed enough, you can still stir the tea bag and brew it enough and squeeze it so that you get the tea to the right color. And I will be showing you what color the tea should be. Now, as you can see, if I had have added that milk in and the tea bag still wasn't in it, the tea would not have been the correct colour. So now I can stir the tea bag and squeeze the tea just enough to get it at that perfect colour. And as you can see, I'll take the tea bag out. And also, just to add, always have like a sort of cup that you can throw your tea bags into. Stop making a mess. Um, stir the tea. And this is a perfect tan colour. That is the perfect tea colour. If your tea is any darker or any, I suppose, lighter than that, well then you've done a bad job and you should remake it. This tea is perfect. Not too strong, not too weak, not too milky and uh, very warm. Your tea should always be piping hot. But uh, that's it.